face of Vittori. And it's in the air, it's gone, it's gone, back, 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 and a far way back. Gale again, down the ground, just one this time, they'll think of a second. Yes, Marshall says, come along for it. He's there, no! That play. Back on strike. Definitely worth risking a wicket. Great gather from Vittori, and he gets it there. It's a comfortable decision. There he goes, that's another six from Chris Gale, a big one, straight down the ground. There he goes again, that's on, it's gone even further. Chris, Chris round the wicket to him now. There he goes again, down the ground, and it's gone for four, between two fielders. There goes Gale again, it's got snow on as it comes down. They've run one, they've run two. And that's Chris Gale from the eliminator over, all by himself. V captain Daniel Vittori, V Chris Gale, New Zealand's best cricketer, the West Indies, best hitter of a cricket ball. Man in tremendous form right now. Anything that was hitched, he was prepared to hit hard. He was not missing. He simply was not missing. Six to win. That's it. First ball. Six. Well, the run one. Run for a second. Shun. And they get home. In the air. It's at another six. It's going to be a catch. And taken. Marshall it is. So Jacob with a six. A couple of by. Full pass. In the air. Down towards the boundary. And goal. I went for seven. Oh, yeah! That's it, all over. West Indies have won. Then bowls Ross Taylor, and the West Indies are held to be decided by an eliminator over. Two batsmen out. The West Indies are at the halfway stage. When Gale was out, they collapsed towards the end. The scores were level 155 for seven New Zealand. 155, and it really was Chris Gale once again who won it for the West Indies with his sensational hitting of Daniel